hi guys so on today's video i am going to be telling you why i decided that i will never ever deny myself sex after an argument guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time my name is precious on this channel we give great insight on family relationship and lifestyle if you're interested in any of this topic please press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be one of the first to get my videos as soon as I post them are you one of those people that when you have an argument with your spouse you would not want to have sex you close the door of sex until you feel okay you stop getting angry the argument is resolved everything is fine before that door is gonna be opened so on today's video i'm gonna be addressing why you should consider having sex after an argument so i'm gonna leave a disclaimer sex shouldn't be what you use to um, resolve an argument whenever there's an argument there are times that you need to sit down and talk about what the problem is and make sure the problem is resolved so sex shouldn't be what you use to resolve an argument arguments needs to be resolved by communicating by talking about it and trashing it okay disclaimer done the first reason why you should consider having sex after an argument is you need the sex eh? you have an argument with your spouse right and to be honest with you sometimes there are these arguments that you have and you just you're so upset you're not happy but few days down the line you start having the urge to have sex you know you want it you start feeling it that you want it but because you want to win the argument because you want to feel like oh i won i won or because you don't want to be the one that is the loser or the weaker link you deprive yourself from having sex can i just tell you the benefit of sex number one you know let me just remind you it lowers blood pressure number two it boosts your immune system number three it, it relaxes you, it increases your libido. Number four, it makes you sleep better. I've just said four things, right? Four things. There are so many other benefits of having sex. But the most important reason or the most important thing that would make you have sex is because you want it. Why are you suffering yourself like this? You want to have sex and you're depriving yourself of sex. Because you want to be the winner so let me tell you what I did I used to be I used to be like this before where I will have an argument with my husband and I would just shut that door of sex I'm not gonna have sex we will be like that for days and sometimes I find out that I really want to have sex but because I want to be the big girl I want to be like oh yeah I'm not gonna fall I'm not gonna be, I'm the strong girl I'm not gonna do it I will hold if you don't want to initiate it I'm not gonna initiate it and I just like suffering myself. So until when my eyes opened and I said to myself, precious girl, you know, you can actually have sex with your husband and continue the fight. I'm not saying that you shouldn't resolve the problem. But anyway, so I made up my mind that if I have an argument with my husband and I want to have sex, I will have the sex. I won't deprive myself of something like guys. If you're having an argument, if you're not happy, do you not eat food? You eat food, but that doesn't mean that you're happy. You eat food, but you're still sad. So I will have the sex and I will continue, right? Who knows what is going to happen even after the sex. So guys, it is very, very important that after an argument with your spouse, you and you feel the urge of having sex, not to deny yourself this thing. Please don't deny yourself because you're the one who is suffering yourself. The the guy or the girl is there. She don't even bother. Doesn't even know you you want to have sex. So doesn't even know that you're feeling the urge. So you are the one who knows your problem, and you are the one who can find solution for your problem. So that's one reason you should consider having sex. Number two reason you should consider having sex after an argument is because your spouse wants it. Let's just leave the argument to one side, right? Even if you have an argument with your spouse, there are things that you know your, your spouse loves, right? For me, 
if I have an argument with my spouse, that doesn't mean that I should stop the things that I'm supposed to do for him. I can't just put everything on hold. I have to continue living my life. So if I know that my husband wants sex, I would give it to him. So that's the reason why I think you should think about having sex after an argument. And you know for a woman, men love sex. They cannot do without sex, okay? A man can just be behaving like a two-year-old when he wants to have sex. If you want to try it, go and try it when your spouse wants sex and you don't give it to him. <laughs> you will just be irritating him. Anything you talk, he will be offended. Anything you do, he will be offended by what you said. So, men cannot live without sex. Any man that tells you that I can do without sex, check very well. But guys cannot do without sex. If you like this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and drop your comments on the comment section. If you have not subscribed, please press the subscribe button and the notification bell. I am going to be dishing out topics like this. Do you agree with the two reasons that I've given? If you agree with me, please let me know in the comment section. If you don't, please also let me know in the comment section as well that you don't agree with me. You may as well let me know why you don't agree with me. Another reason why you should consider having sex with your partner after an argument is because makeup sex is hot, like as in hot. Have you experienced it where you have an argument with your spouse and you don't have sex for like few days and you're both missing each other, you're both missing the cuddles, you're both missing the company and because you've missed yourself so much, you just want to have sex and by the time for one reason or the other, both of you decide to have sex, it is very good. Most of the time it is very good. But let me say something now. It's not because makeup sex is hot, then you will not be having an argument to do the makeup sex. You will intentionally cause an argument so that you will do makeup sex. You're just ruining your relationship. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is that if you have a genuine argument and you've missed each other for a while, the sex is really, really hot. So when you know that this sex is hot, why not go and have hot sex? something that is hot go and have it while it's hot not when it's cold <laughs> go and have it and there's a research as well that's backed this thing up i'm going to link it up on the description section so there's a research that also backs this whole thing up that says that you know when you have an argument with your spouse when the tension is high and everybody's upset after a few days you start feeling this uh, a sense of threat you're going to lose your spouse and what happens is that because you're having this threat, you're having this sense of threat, what happens is that your body starts activating a biological based attachment system where you start, you want to protect everything that you love. Everything that you love, you want to protect it. So including your spouse, you want to protect your spouse. And all of a sudden you start feeling that you want him. You want him, you want, you're missing him, you want to have sex with him, you want to spend time with him. So this is what happened. If you have experienced this thing I'm saying, please let me know in the comment section. Makeup sex is hot. Why not? Why are you doing this to yourself? It is hot. Go and do it. So that's another reason why I think you should consider having sex after an argument. So the final reason, which I think is one of the most important reasons you should consider having sex after an argument is sex can calm things down. Research actually showed that sex releases happy hormones so you imagine when you've had sex with your partner you've this whole hormone is flowing all over your body you're happy your husband is happy or your spouse is happy everybody's calm that is when you guys can actually talk about the whole problem resolve the matter most times that is when you resolve the matter because everybody's happy and girls you know what <laughs> oh god i don't know why you people are doing this thing to yourself do you know that when your husband has had a very good sex like when he has enjoyed sex he would listen to you he will see reasons with you that thing that you've been arguing about or that thing you've been trying to convince him to think about talk to him about it you guys will be, will be able most likely be able to resolve whatever arguments that you have because this hormone is just flowing like 
flowing all over you and the atmosphere is good so you can actually resolve your problems you can resolve it sex can make the problem to be resolved in the long run so if you're gonna a problem is gonna be resolved just by, just by having sex why not I know it's not the same for everybody right sex is a very emotional thing for women mostly I know it's not easy but I just want you to think about it in the positive aspect for yourself it's for your own good at the end of the day you want sex go and have sex your husband loves sex give him sex does a lot of things that that is beneficial to you why not do it and at the end of the day as well you're going to have the argument resolved you're going to have the fight resolved why are you doing this to yourself just try your best and do it but please like i said before don't use sex as a way of sweeping the argument under the carpet and you're not going to talk you're not going to resolve it that's not the aim of this video the aim of this video is that sex can be like the thing to help make the atmosphere okay whereby you guys can sit down and talk about whatever the problem is so i've listed four important reasons why you should consider having sex with your partner or with your spouse after an argument if you don't agree with me please let me know on the comment section and let me know why you don't agree with me but if you agree with me guys let me know please why you agree with me so thank you so much for watching my video just before you go if you have not subscribed please press the subscribe button and press the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to get my videos as soon as I post them so thank you so much guys for watching my video be grateful be positive and be yourself.